praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. And then now the Lord has spoken with me again. This past the Lord Jehovah, he spoke with me. And uh, in this conversation of this past night, the Lord Jehovah, um, he showed me me. I could see myself preparing, preparing to go to uh, a mission of the Lord, a meeting somewhere. And uh, then the Lord tells me by voice that when I get to that meeting, there will be a tremendous healing anointing that will strike that meeting. And as I enter into the field and minister there, the Lord says immediately whatever word I decree there, if I decree open heaven, heaven will open and the rain comes down. And so I see myself leaving, eventually going to that meeting. And then reaching there, I decreed open heaven before the Lord. And the cloud of the Lord came down and heaven opened. And a tremendous rain with big drops fell down. Rain fell over that place in a very, very mighty sign and wonder of this age. And then the healings are unbelievably shocking. A lot of people are healed all kinds of conditions, including the miracles of creation. So this is the time we're living in. Uh, we're living within this hour the days of his servant, the days of his glory. We're living within the days of preparing for the coming of the King, the Messiah, the return of the Christ. And at this time, we are living under the open hands for those that will hearken to the message of repentance and the return to righteousness, the return to the treasured holiness of the Lord. And this is the conversation the Lord is speaking with the church right now that the nations will obey, the nations that will listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit within the so much noise that you see across the earth. Right now there's so much noise in church, people are preaching their own things, others are preparing the churches to live here forever, others are not preparing them for heaven, they're preparing them on the things of the world. There's all so much noise all over the earth, but within that noise, if there will be a nation, a church, a people that will listen to this voice of the Lord, the voice that is calling out in the wilderness to repent and turn away from sexual sin, turn away from the gospel of prosperity, turn away from the worldliness, the moral decay of this hour, turn away from all the beclouding that you see today of sin in worship, sin even being introduced in churches in the, in the word, they use the word to justify sin, the money clamoring for money, 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 all these things, the dressing of immorality, the children, the women, the boys, the, 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 the practices of atheism that we see in the church today. If there will be a church, a believer, a church, a nation, a community, a society, that will hearken to this voice within this confusion of this hour and begin to pursue righteousness as a personal singular focus on a personal basis, one person at a time, one community at a time, one church at a time, one denomination, and so forth. If there will be a people that will hearken to holiness at this hour, to return to Jesus, to restore their lives in baptism, of complete immersion in water, baptism of the Holy Spirit, and to pursue a right standing with God, to make sure that they purge, they clean themselves off the decay of this world, then those are the people that will see the eternal kingdom of Jehovah that I'm announcing today. Again, in this conversation last night, the Lord shows me that I was traveling to a place, I was going for a meeting somewhere, and he asks me to reach there and decree open heaven there. And he says, when you do so, he would come. When I do so, he would come down in his cloud, open the heavens and rain in that place. And then the unbelievable, the tremendous shocking healing anointing that will strike the place. And those things took place. I executed that instruction very faithfully, even as the Lord instructed. And those events took place. The heaven opened. Well, heaven opened. 
then a tremendous rain came down with big, big drops, and it was such a blessed time to behold. Now, these are the signs of this hour that help to prepare the church. This is the latter rain of the Holy Spirit that was long foretold that would come in these days to purge the dross, purge the sin, purge the decay, clean up the church, restore the house of worship, that when the Messiah comes on that day and hour that no one knows about, then you may not be found unaware, you may not be found unprepared, but found prepared that you may go spend eternity of worship and peace and blessedness and bliss, the maximum state of blessedness with the Lord in the kingdom of Jehovah, the God of Israel. The Messiah is coming.